when <clears throat> when you were much younger, Dad, how did you entertain yourself with no television? Oh, well, just playing games out in the, the backyard or around the side of the house, or cricket games or football. But you see the lovely little bouncy footballs they've got now, lovely material that when you kick them, they really go. All I was able to do was get one of old Pa's socks and shove some paper in it and uh, stitch it up and just kick that around. And I just, I used to uh, throw the, uh, the footy up against the wall of a house and one, one hand would be Collingwood and one hand would be Essendon and they'd go for the mark like that and I'd write every goal kick down and every match what the score was yeah. and pretty much the same with cricket. I used to have a scorebook and I'd bowl up against the chimney and even if I just patted the ball like that I'd go over and put a dot in the book for no run and, and of course I'd uh, always favour Bradman he was batting and he happened to get out. I'd say, oh, no, wait a minute. No, I, I think he took a single there and he wasn't actually facing. So I'd favour Bradman. And if ever I lost my ball in the vegetable patch and I couldn't find it, I'd, I'd pray to God and say, please let me find my ball, God, and I'll go to Sunday school on, on Sunday. And I usually found the ball, but I never kept my promise to go to Sunday school because there was always matches to play. <laughs> <laughs> so there was no spare ball. If you lost it, that was the end of the game. Pretty much, yeah. All right, pretty much. And did uh, and Pa's uh, lettuces once took a bit of a hit, didn't it? Oh, with well, Ken? my brother Ken and I used to play matches, and occasionally we'd decimate his cauliflowers or something. So we'd go and sit them up again. <laughs> so we'd hope Pa wouldn't notice. But after a couple of days, they'd turn brown and just <laughs> fall off. But I reckon he did know. Ha, ha, ha.